Wow. I, it might be a small mouth. Look how he's coming up. But those perch do that. It, could be a, it might be a big perch. Whoa! My God! It was a small mouth. <sighs> These are beauties. These are beauties. Now they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger as we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I, I can't stress how, how tough the day was. Um, really was a tough day. Uh, I looked and I looked at a, a, a spot I've been looking at and just, you know, checking water out uh did a lot a lot a lot of rowing and this hole here i've there we go i've had fish here before i didn't really fish it right it hard um so i drifted through just incredible results dropped the anchor and just an incredible incredible day this feels like the biggest one of the day. <gasps> wow, he's a king perch. That's a king perch. Wow. That's a ginormous perch. Wow. That's a king perch. I've had him three times as big here, though. Wow. Well, they're just beating into the night. I might. Wow. This is just great. Great fishing. But I'll tell you what. He's a really nice eating size perch, too. So I kept some. But I'll tell you what. It was it. It. Fishing's like that, you know, um, you get your rewards, you have your busts. Most of the day was a bust. Um, this is probably ain't even, ain't even half the perch. Let's get this one. There it is. I got ice. I just kept these before I left. And most of the time, uh, you just got to fishing was tough and I had to put in my time checked out water didn't pan out and probably rode at least four miles then uh, I had fish here before not, not like this not tight like this and uh, did a drift through and had a perch drift through small mouth drift through something else bluegills pick, pecking away something now on Oh, and it just really lit up. Oh, anything ginormous, then I'll worry. Wow, it really lit up. Um, the perch were tight, the bait was here, and it just oh, that might have been something good. Oh, he's on. He came back for it. That's a nice one. And just fishing got incredible. So definitely. Oh, look at his eyes. And I'm going to keep him for dinner. Wow. And that was, wow, what an incredible day. Well, let me show you how I'm rigged. This is my main rig today. I'm fishing, this is fish between 22, 25 feet to 15 feet of water or so. Really drops off sharp. But I'm just using, this is six pound test. That's a split shot. I like the number four hook. Um, 
you kind of just it's a number four hook and i call that a craw worm you get all kinds of interesting stuff with that i dropped the bead on there beads are great the perch will just go after the bead and i'm just casting kind of letting it drop and those perch like a really kind of rapid fast motion gets their attention you let it sit twitch sit twitch kind of and i think there's one was messing with the drop down rods this is my main get up today but we're getting them straight down and working the worm like a blower that's the gist of it all <gasps> they're getting bigger this is amazing fish wow <gasps> What the hell is that? What is that? What the heck? Oh, <gasps> we got a new species. Wow. We got a sucker. I have it. It's a sucker. That is so cool. Wow, let me get this stuff cleared out here. First, I thought he was some sort of a trout because he was. Wow. That is so cool. What an amazing thing for now. Wow. I haven't caught one of these things in years. He was a ginormous perch. It's a sucker. Well, getting ahead here, we're gonna let him go. Those things are pretty hardy. Okay, let's take a look at him. Slimy. Getting ahead. That's a wow. Wow. It's a nice size. That is so cool. I want to run this on its own. So I was fishing for perch, and I'm going to let him go. Um, they're biting now. You can see my rod. And I pulled out this here sucker in the middle of it all. Wow. Let me get him on his way. <gasps> Beautiful fish. This bait on the bottom, those big marks, those are the perch on top. That could be something bigger. Something swam. Three things swam down. Five. Oh boy. I don't think I have bait on my line. So they broke off. Looked bigger, but I think there were five fish kind of together. Okay, so they really turned out great. He stopped. They're eating those saw bellies. Look at that belly on him. I was just gonna look at that belly. There's a worm back. Up there. Those are saw belly. And sometimes there's like billions of them. They're like bunker, but this is perfect. There's a pod there, a pod there. Isolated pods. And this is when you get that better fishing. I see what's going on this is like exciting now wow they really turned out great but it kind of passing through so i'm kind of letting that worm this seems to be working best and uh see the oh they're on the right we're in the thick got the anchor down too so it was, it's been it was a tough day but found the fish at the end of the day i tried new water and I was looking for uh, really anything, really, really anything. Um, but it turned out to be a bell ringer day. Big, beautiful, small mouth um, got off. I was seeing a big, large mouth come for a take. And uh, just knew things were going on. Picked, started picking out perch. Did a couple drifts. I dropped the anchor. And I'm doing a combination of casting and dropping down. And it's just been incredible white perch fishing. Pulled out that big, beautiful sucker. Um, I think the first one on tape. I used to get them all the time in the rivers and stuff. 
and just incredible day fishing. So I had to run the, the, the sucker on its own, but uh, just to, you know, showcase him. And we'll get him into a uh, white perch video. They're still biting now. Now we got something. This is really, wow, that's a nice one. They're getting bigger now. They're getting bigger. I spent the whole day. That's how it is when you're fishing for perch. That's a nice fish. That's how it is. Yeah, he's about almost nine, nine inch perch. That's how it is when you're looking for these guys. I spend the whole day. And uh, yeah, this is my last last stop for the catfish. It should have been my first. Um, the cool thing was the smallmouth. I seen definitely the smallmouth. Seen a large mouth. Definitely was a nice large mouth. And uh, it was a nice smallmouth. I lost him on the jump. Not really looking for this, you know, bass today, but you're going to get him. And if uh, I've seen any more, probably could have just started flipping out some worms and, well, plastic worms. And uh, probably hit a few more bass, but I like this all, all, all the same. Now the fish finder actually has a fish feature where it maps the bottom and I just looked at it now to see and to see what's going on here. It's, it's really neat. I anchored up just perfect, um, almost. But I'm going to zoom in. Made a map of the bottom there. Very cool. You can see where I'm at. Right there. And you can see there, there we're moving. <laughs> kind of drifting with the anchor. But there's a point right there and that's where all those fish are hanging off of and we're almost anchored just perfect if we were just a little bit up there then be a little tighter on the fish but you can see we're right on the drop we're right off the point we got the deep ledge to our left and then the point and the drop to our right and that looks like what was what's going on in there very cool and zoom in. Oh, that's as far as it goes. But you can see that light green is shallow and then darker. That's the deeper water there. You can see the point right there. That's so good. <gasps> wow, that's a nice caddy. favorite time. It's a nice size one too. It's a nice size caddy. These are delicious. It's a nice one. Let's get him hooked. Nice dinner size white catfish. <laughs> 